John, I'm going to, uh, I just ran the numbers. I, the stat even I can't believe, and, I, and I'm pretty gullible. I'm going to tell you this. The S&P 500, 262 stocks are up more than 25% since the beginning of April. Quarter to date, nine have more than doubled. Has this market rebound, rally, whatever you want to call it, even knocked the socks off the most optimistic investors out there? Or was this expected? I think we've got to say that the the recovery that we have seen thus far, or the bounce, more than a bounce, this is, is, is very much typical of what you get when you've got a grossly oversold market on negative projections uh, with, with a financial crack that occurs. Reminds us a lot of 2009, on parallel, of course, because the reason for it is decidedly different. Who would ever think that you'd nearly shut down uh, the, the entire U.S. economy uh, because of a, uh, of a pandemic? Uh, it, it, this is unprecedented. It's the overused word, but it's the applicable word. Uh, but we do have to say this. Uh, we do think that the market has responded because you've had good rescue efforts, both by uh, Congress, by the administration, and a magnanimous Fed, which is, uh, it is dedicated uh, to great transparency, uh, communication, uh, and a process of, of looking to get, get us back to, back to work and get the economy rolling again through a highly difficult time. Yeah, you may have heard, John, some retail stores were closed after being ordered closed due to the pandemic, as I just said a little bit tongue in cheek. The market is acting like the pandemic, you know, and the lockdowns were in the rearview mirror. By the way, cases are still growing. In some states, the pace of acceleration is still growing. The all clear has not been sounded. Why is the market acting like it? Does the market believe that the health data, which is all that really matters right now anyway, is going to look a lot better in the next few months. Well, I, I, I think what the, what the market is, 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 is looking at, it's reading, it's reading the tape for one thing in terms of the news tape, and what it distinctly sees is that uh, there's great progress being made in terms of developing a vaccine, getting it tested, commitment by, I believe it's over 100 companies around the world, to, uh, to find something, a, a vaccine and drugs of greater efficacy to help those who are suffering for it. Uh, and, and the other side is, you know, we have, uh, we have interest rates at, at historically or near historically low levels now. Uh, and with that, uh, the place to be, we, we would think, is equities. Uh, it, you know, yesterday what we saw when we, we saw value eased up a little bit, we saw tech regain uh, the lead there. Uh, what we think is this is a world that technology is driving. Uh, we think, as you know, we think that tech is essentially on parallel to where the automobile was early in the 20th century when it began yeah. to replace the horse. It's changing everything we do for business, consumers, healthcare, yeah. education, government. And, may, and maybe the lockdown has accelerated a lot of that in the way we work and the way we shop. Maybe not forever, but certainly in the near term. John, here's the basic question. Are stocks going to be higher a year from now? S&P 500, higher or lower than right now? Quickly, please. We'd say, we'd say higher from where we are right now, but we don't think it's in a straight line. Always look for an opportunity, some kind of a catalyst that come, which could justify profit taking without FOMO. You know, yep. traders and nervous investors will take it. For longer term investors, this looks like a, a particularly good time to be diversified within equities.